All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So the Saiyan Day celebration is officially here and in today's video, we're gonna check out what Bandai has in store for us together. So without further ado, let's jump into this news here and see what's going on. So at the very top, we have the Valiant Warrior Race Saiyan Day campaign. New SSR Bardock will show up in the Dokkan Festival. Once Dokkan awakened, Bardock can transform into Super Saiyan Bardock by activating his active skill. In addition to luxurious bonus login bonuses, a new special event, a new Dokkan event, and the 17th Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash will also be available during the event period. Come join the event and enjoy Dokkan Battle. Okay, sounds pretty good. First things first, we have a login bonus. Pretty standard stuff. Number two, we have some special missions. Special missions with up to 30 plus 18 dragon stones. That's not bad. That's not bad. So 48 stones in total for the missions. And for the sales, ooh, oh my god, yo. These are some really good sales. These are some really, really good sales, man. Some of the best we've seen on Global in a long ass time. 32 stones for over 50% off five times. That's about a hundred and 70 stones or so something like that and also 91 stones over 20 percent off seven times so uh not a bad sale man not a bad sale, sale at all and after that of course we have the dokkan festival for the bardock um at first i was like this date like this time actually is really really random but then you realize that the 18 is for Saiyan Day, March 18th, so it makes a little bit more sense. So basically, if you guys are watching this video as it drops, uh, we have about, I think, six hours to go or something like that. Six or seven hours before the banner drops, hoping that it's really good, but I'm not like super, super optimistic. We'll see though. We'll see. So of course, we have the new AGL Bardock as well as a new Raditz. And uh, from what I can see, the Raditz is very solid as well, but this Bardock, um, given the right situation, can be really, really broken. But in general, he is a very, very good unit. We also have the Revenge Category Summon Banner, and I've seen a lot of memes for this category because it's really just not that good. I mean, I said this in my initial uh, Say and Day breakdown video that like I, I was pretty sure the revenge category wasn't going to be that busted since uh, the Bardock gives it like plus 4 key and HP and attack plus 170% or something like that so um, I wasn't expecting too much and as it turns out yeah it's not that good it, 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 it's decent it's okay right but it's not as good as like a lot of the categories a lot of the other categories we've seen recently so i understand why people are upset about it and of course his other leader skill is the low class uh low class warriors category right which also isn't a very good category so overall not that excited to run this uh bardock as a leader but running him on like a pure saiyans team or something like that is still going to be really really fun uh, so I would say skip this one because as I said the category is not that good but category banners in general are huge huge traps so uh, just don't do it don't do it okay after that we have a Elder Kai banner it looks like we're getting an Elder Kai banner basically every celebration so if you guys are low on Kai's then go for it I guess but probably not the best use of your stones in my opinion and after that we have the Super Saiyan Bardock Dokkan event and now this is what I'm most excited for, to be honest, the Team Bardock, um, basically Ginyu Force 2.0 event where we can farm five members of the uh, Team Bardock. And then once we're done with all of those, get the LR Team Bardock for free as well. And uh, that card is really, really dope. So super, super excited for this. And I think the plan is actually to farm every single member of team bardock as they come out over the next couple of days so tomorrow or maybe tonight actually depends on how much time i have but either tonight or tomorrow we're gonna be farming fasha and after that is i believe bardock after that is shugesh and then i think it's borgos and tora i could have the order mixed up but for sure i know right now that fascia is available so uh yeah we're gonna do one at a time every single day and then also probably a showcase after that so yeah that's the plan and uh, if you guys are free i mean probably most of you are given our current circumstances so if you guys have some time definitely join in those streams and farm with your boy tiger because uh, it's gonna make it a lot more interesting 
a lot more fun to do. So that is the Team Bardock event. We also get the 17th Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash or Dokkan Battlefield. That's another, you know, 30-ish stones as well as a new LR that's going to be added to the uh, Battlefield shop, which is the LR Mecha Frieza and King Cold. And uh, that is a really, really good card, guys. I've been waiting for that one for a very long time. I got the Battlefield gems ready, so definitely going to pick that one up. And I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for that as well. So uh, it's finally here, guys. King Cold and Mecha Frieza finally coming to global with this battlefield. Um, I'm wondering if we're going to get like the new enemies as well. That's a bit of a question mark, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so after that we have Super Battle Road available every single day. Now, we do know that JP is getting the, or maybe already got the Extreme Super Battle Road or Ultra Super Battle, what is it called? I don't really know, but the like enhanced version of Super Battle Road, uh, but it doesn't look like we're gonna get that on Global for a while. So we're getting just the regular Super Battle Road available every day, which I'm okay with. I just wish that we got the new event as well, you know, so that's whatever. And then we have some new story events, or sorry, old story events returning. We have the Saiyan Warrior Race event, the Raditz event, as well as the uh, Bardock event. And also a couple of Dokkan events available available every single day for Mass Saiyan and also Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. And then also the LR Go Bros, Namek Goku, and AGL LR Gohan. And some story events returning, the um, Goku Jr., the Goku and Friends are back, and also the Lord Slug event. So that is the Saiyan Day celebration for you guys. Let's take a look at the other stuff real quick as well. So as far as special missions, as I said, 30 plus 18 stones for a total of 48 Dragon Stones. That's actually not bad at all, and we also... We're going to be getting some uh, new items. These aged meat items right here, the medium one gives you, I believe, 60 stamina, and the small ones give 20 stamina, I'm pretty sure. So there you go, guys. We finally have stamina restoring items in this game after like five years, which is crazy to me because so many other gacha games have had a system like this for the longest time. So Dokkan's definitely a little bit behind here, but it's okay. It's okay, at least we're finally getting it. So it uh, looks like we're gonna get up to three medium age meats and then up to 18 of the small age meats uh, between missions and login bonuses. And uh, okay, so what else is there? Login bonus. Okay, so it looks like three. Oh, I, I thought it was gonna be three stones a day every single day, but just three stones today. Oh, wait, hold on. No, it's three, one, eight. So actually. 12 stones today, my bad. 12 stones today and then one stone every single day for the rest of the login, which is pretty standard. But for the first day, we get 18, no, sorry, 12 stones. So that's pretty solid, man. That's pretty solid. And is there anything else worth mentioning? I don't think so. So yeah, as I said, Fasha is available today for the Team Bardock event. And then uh, tomorrow it's gonna be uh, Bardock, and then the day after that it's gonna be Shugesh, and then Borgos, and then finally we have Tora. Alright, so uh, super, super excited for this event, guys. Super excited to do it with you guys on stream starting either tonight or tomorrow. And uh, if you guys are summoning for the new AGL Dokkan Fest Bardock, then best of luck to you. I'm honestly not like super, super hyped for him. I am still excited to get him. I still want him, obviously. That's why I'm summoning, but. I don't get him like i'm not gonna be that upset you know what i mean so uh yeah good luck guys more content coming for the rest of the week for sure i'm sorry i've been slacking a little bit because honestly it's just been a crazy time um in the world in general hope you guys understand and uh that's gonna do it for today's video let me know in the comments down below what you guys are most excited for when it comes to global's saiyan day whether it's you know the new bardock whether it's the team bardock or maybe you're super excited for the LR Mecha, Fre Mecha Frieza and King Cold. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. 
And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.